Hello, this is Paul Goose with IQ Power Tools. Today we're going to talk about the IQ 426 HEPA. This is our brand new dust extractor that we just brought to the market. We've been developing it for many, many years, but, but finally got it finished and we think we have a real uh, interesting game changer here in the dust extraction market. Um, some of the things we looked at is we looked at how conventional vacuums were working. Some had cyclones, like a single cyclone. Some had pulse back uh, where they're cleaning the filters with reverse pulse. Uh, and all of those have some uh, weaknesses. And we really wanted to develop a vacuum that keeps the filter clean. And that's really the key to vacuums, isn't it? A, a vacuum that doesn't lose airflow, the vacuum filter stays clean, it doesn't get plugged up, and that way you can keep on working and fill the whole up machine up to its capacity and not have to stop and clean the filter or shake it or do anything. And that's what we've done here. We've done that by utilizing cyclone technology. This machine actually has seven cyclones here. So actually the cyclones filter out 99% of the dust. Less than 1% of the dust actually makes it over to the filter. And that's what makes this machine truly unique. The very little dust gets to the filter, so your filter stays clean, so your airflow stays very strong throughout the, the complete cycle. Um, so it is the IQ 426 HEPA. Uh, it is in its cart right now, but I can pop it out here. This is your dust container down at the bottom, and we'll talk a little bit more about that in a minute. Your HEPA filtration is right here. Okay, so if you need HEPA filtration, you can add the filter. If you don't need the HEPA, you can take the filter out. Again, they come with this nice cart that uh, really kind of keeps everything together and kind of protects the unit. Slides right in there, and that latch actually locks the unit to the cart. Some of the other features, uh, like other dust extractors, we do have a plug-in for a grinder or a tool that will engage with the vacuum. So if you set the machine on the auto position, the tool that's plugged in here, when you start that up, the vacuum will automatically start. And so it, it adds a kind of an automatic start feature. Uh, and then if you shut the tool off, the vacuum will run for about 10 seconds and then the vacuum will shut off just to clean out the hoses. See, we have a high-low switch. You set it on low if your power supply is set at maybe 15 amps, and you know you have a lower amp supply available or lower voltage. If you know that you have 20 amps or more and good voltage, set it up on your high position. But this is all spelled out in your manual. The reason we have that switch there is because the, another unique feature is it has an automatic power management system. So when you have something plugged in to here, a grinder, um, and you set this on auto, you set it on high, the automatic power management system will govern your vacuum up and down, depending on how many amps you need for your grinder. So if you really are grinding and digging in, the, the plug here or the, the system will give priority to your grinder and it will slow the vacuum down for just a, a few seconds or a millisecond even to make sure you're not popping and tripping breakers. So that's what the automatic uh, power management system does. And that's when it's on the auto. Otherwise, the other is just a plain on position that just starts the vacuum and it operates like a normal vacuum would. We also got an indicator light here that says HEPA and that'll tell you when your HEPA filter needs to be changed. It actually has uh, pressure sensor in there so it tells you when there's back pressure behind the uh, filter and it's time to be changed so that's something that is also a nice feature to have. Another thing we really thought uh, a lot about is our accessories and where do you want them and to keep them all organized. Here right on the back of the tool we have a nice rack that holds your different nozzles, wide and narrow nozzle, uh, also your different extensions you put these together, and then you can put your different configurations, hook them up to your hose. So you got a lot of different uh, things here that you can hook up. You can take the wide one and go all the way down to, well, with the reducer, 
and go right down to your narrow nozzle. So if you have small cracks or things you need to get into, uh, that's the one you want to use if you don't want to bend over. But it's all right here. This is just a little reducer adapter. That stays right there. But again, everything goes right back in its place. So very organized and a lot of uh, options there for accessories and depending on what you're vacuuming. Also, we have a 14 foot hose. This is the hose that comes with the machine. As you can see, the hose is coiled up here. And we designed the hose so that this end and that end actually can be inserted together. Now you can wind your hose up and it stays uh, you know, wrapped up. You can also store the hose right over the top of the, the tools like this. But I'm gonna go ahead and install the hose because normally if you're on a job site, you have your hose right out here and to install that, that just goes in this end. Give that a twist, line up your arrows, take your hose, kind of drape it over the machine. And this is just as you're moving in around the job site. But an interesting thing that we've done also is there's one extra hole here. And the hole there is for this end of the hose. So now your hose is all contained push it around the job site, everything stays nice and neat. Of course, when you want to store it, then you can coil the hose up and throw it up over the top. So that's just a little bit of thought that goes into making a tool that I want to use. Another nice feature of the IQ 426 is the cart itself. Not only is it a nice place to store your accessories, but it also interacts with the machine and helps you manage the tub. And let me show you how that works. First, you pop your latches. And notice how the latches pop up out of the way. We pop the back latch like that. Right here, we have a little step. We step on that and push it forward and it captures onto this hook. Then when you got that hooked, you just tip this back and that locks the top in the up position and now your tub is free to come out. And that just makes it really easy, keeps this nice and clean. You're not setting it on the ground or doing anything like that. Now the IQ426 is designed to run with just the tub itself, but it also includes three bags that come with it and you can buy these as uh, packs after the, uh, the first purchase. And we really recommend you use bags because it keeps your cleanup really nice and organized. So let's install a bag. So we put the bag in, it has a, this elastic strap around the top to keep it nice and secure. You just put that over the edge. You wanna keep your bag nice and high, push it down. There we go. One nice feature with this bag, and we'll show you at the end, is there's a zip tie right here. So at the end, you pop the elastic free, you take the zip tie and you seal it right up. That's a nice feature to have right there when you need it. All right, there's the bag in place. We put it back into the machine. Let's get ready to suck up some dust. So now we're gonna demonstrate picking up some dust. Here we have uh, 50 pounds of drywall dust, which is some of the nastiest dust out there and the toughest on filters. It plugs filters up really easy. We're gonna suck up this 50 pounds of drywall dust in about 30 seconds. So if you got a cell phone, get your timer out and you can time me and see how fast it goes, but it should be right around 30 seconds. So let's turn the machine on and suck up some dust.
Well, that was 50 pounds of drywall dust in about 30 seconds. And if we turn the machine on, We just sucked up that 50 pounds of dust. And let me show you something interesting about that 1% of the dust. Again, only 1% of the dust ever reaches the filter. Because 99 plus percent of the uh, filtration is done with the cyclones. But let me show you that. Let's open up the tub here. I'm doing this before we have cleaned the filter. So you see there's our dust in there. That's what the cyclones have captured. Now I'll put this piece of paper in here. I'll lower it back down. Now I'm gonna spin that filter and that'll clean the filter. Let's see how much dust was on the filter. So out of 50 pounds, that's how much dust is on the filter, less than 1% well under 1%. Let me show you some of the features inside that makes that possible and how we protect our filter. Let me drop this back down. Let's take the top off here and show you the inside. So right here, these flaps are what protect the filter. So you see our filter on the inside there? When the vacuum starts, these flaps close, and that keeps our dust all going through the cyclones. And that's what cleans out the majority of the dust. When the vacuum turns off, there's no vacuum, this opens up, and when you clean the filter, that dust falls into your tub. So because of these flaps, that's how we protect the filter. Now let's go ahead and empty the bag and show you how easy that is. Pop the latches, come around to the back of the machine, and you want to get the top out of the way. Now we can pull the tub right out of here. So there's our dust we just sucked up. Let's take the bag out. Last it comes around, we can kind of give this a nice pull. Take our zip tie here, get it ready to secure. Goes around. Inserts into there. Nice pull. Now your bag is sealed. And that's your cleanup. Throw a new bag in and go back to work. So that was a quick overview of the IQ 426 HEPA. Uh, we love getting your guys' questions, so please send those in and we'll answer those as we're able. We're really excited to bring this tool to the marketplace because it's kind of a new segment for us um, into the dust extractor world. We're getting great reviews. You can go out on uh, the internet and uh, YouTube and check out some of the reviews. Pro Tool Review, um, they gave us the, this is the Dust Extractor of the Year for 2019, so that was a really a good award to win, and we uh, are really proud of that. So we appreciate you guys out there. Another new innovative tool from IQ Power Tools. So be safe, and get busy, and get to work. <laughs>